So it's lunchtime now. Eat real quick. They're uh ought to be finishing up on that bulldozer up there on that on the brakes on it. Reselling that stuff. We did get our 630 fixed and got it back. We had that thing worked on I think about four times. And uh we ended up having to haul that thing down to Philadelphia, the dealer down there. 230 mile round trip. And they fixed it in a matter of a few hours once it got down there. It's kind of, uh, it's not cool either. Because we don't, we rarely take anything out of the woods. We don't take this stuff to the shop or anything. We kind of expect it to be fixed right here because uh, the haul of these machines up and down the road, it is very, very expensive to uh, to do that. And, uh, and we don't even take, we, we the, uh, let's see, the processor, my loader, uh, track cutter, we've never had them at our shop. got a little bit of wood they trying to wrap up there I'm not sure if they're starting trying to rain we're calling for any rain today we got an alert popped up while ago on the phone it said rain starting about 20 minutes and dang it's already starting to slick the road up right here too and you know, we're supposed to get uh they're talking about it's getting some potentially getting some storms this weekend We shall see. Got both dog boxes in the ram. See, one's taller than the other one. That one right there's got top stores. The other one don't. I'd rather both of them had not had. Rather that than been a regular one too without top stores. But that's all we had. So that's what I got when I got that one. Working on this video here I'm about to, and before it gets in the rest of it, where y'all can see what all else I did there, what else I had going on. I didn't state what was wrong with the uh, 630 or skitter that we were having trouble with. There was something, something on the fuel rail up there. They said they had to reseal it and it wasn't leaking or anything or nothing like that, but it was, uh, whatever it was, was enough to make that machine derate and uh, cause it to do that. So. They resealed it and uh, got it fixed. They ran it on the yard there in Philadelphia for a while and then had trouble with it. So we got it back, we hauled it back yesterday to the woods there and run the dog out of that thing yesterday. Uh, Derek run it the majority of the day and uh, we didn't have any more trouble with it. It didn't pop no more codes, no nothing or anything, but it's, uh, it's frustrating that it could have been fixed in the woods and it caused us to have to haul that machine down there like that. And um, that uh, that cost us a lot because if you got them work on it all those multiple times, you're having to pay for service calls on every one of those times and then it don't get fixed. And then you end up having to haul it down to the dealer like that. That's tough. It's... Uh, and it's it, it's hard, you know, a mechanic or whatever says, well, it's got to go to the shop. You know, that's just, <laughs> with us, that's just not an option. You know what I mean? And uh, so uh, watch the rest of this video here, man. It's uh, actually pretty cool and stuff. So uh, we'll catch y'all later. Y'all take a gander to road here. It's just slick. Days like a day, it just won't dry either. It just it just stays like this all day long. You can hear it sticking to the tire, slinging all hitting the truck. So it's about two thirty. Uh, I got enough time to go hunting. Load both the dogs up and get my ranger out. And we're going to get her locked and loaded. So Jason says, man, they come out of there. 
like diarrhea out of a butthole, I mean, and they're gone. There's the other one. That's Taylor. Use the bathroom right quick. Get them loaded up. Y'all go pee. Poop, whatever you wanna do. Let's go. There we go, Tater. Hike it leg, boy. Ooh. <coughs> All right. Let me catch him. Oh boy. Tater just took his dump. Come on, boy. Let's go. He's ready. Come on. Let's go. I gotta catch him. Come here. All right, pee one more time. Come on, Tater. Let's go. So hope y'all enjoyed all that. I'm fixing to go run down a food truck here in Columbus and uh, uh, give me some lunch off of it real quick. It's almost lunch now, 11, 11 o'clock right now. Uh, hunt it, uh, when y'all see me in the video hunting right there, I ended up seeing 14 deer. Didn't shoot anything, just all does. And uh, not a buck nowhere to be seen chasing no does or anything like that where I was anyhow. So, uh, Good afternoon hunting. And then I went back this morning and seen four. And uh, so I got a video of setting traps, putting traps out. I don't know when I'll publish it. I may publish it tomorrow or something. I don't know. We'll just see. But uh, I want to get this one, get this one out. And I uh, hope all y'all have a have a good weekend this weekend. Still hadn't rained yet here. It's right around 70 degrees here right now. And we're supposed to have a master front come through tonight tomorrow and get a bunch of rain and temperature will probably drop and all that good stuff like that and everybody will be sick and stuff so uh we'll catch y'all later later